Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print mirrored right triangle star pattern. So what exactly is this mirrored right triangle star pattern? Let me show you directly. So this is how guys a mirrored right triangle star pattern looks like. If you have to write a Java program to print this kind of mirrored right triangle star pattern, we need to find out few details guys. That is, first of all, we need to find out how many rows, okay? We need to find out the number of rows in this uh, mirrored right triangle star pattern. There are one, two, three, four, five. Total, how many rows? Five rows. Five rows are available in this mirrored right triangle star pattern. Second thing is, we need to find out how many spaces in each and every row, okay? Before these stars are printed, how many spaces are there here? Second thing is spaces. In the first row, there are, Okay, only one star. That means remaining all are spaces. So there are four spaces in the first row. Coming to the second row, there are three spaces. Third row, two spaces, fourth row, one space, and fifth row, zero space. This is how the spaces are organized. And third thing we need to find about this uh, pattern is the stars. How many stars in each and every row? If you, if you find out about stars, the stars are like... Uh, one star in the first row, two stars in the second row, three stars in the third row, four stars in the fourth row, and first five stars in the fifth row. So rows are total five rows, spaces are like four, three, two, one, zero, and stars are one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. Now using this uh, requirements, we need to start writing a Java program which can print this kind of pattern. So first thing is uh, we need to consider these rows guys, five rows. For uh, accommodating that five rows, we need to write a for loop saying for int i is equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus guys. So this for loop will iterate how many number of times? Five times because since there are five rows, this for loop will iterate five times. And inside this for loop, we need to first write the code for printing the spaces, okay? So in the first row, we have to print four spaces. For that, we have to write the for loop for spaces. This is for spaces guys, for printing the spaces for int, j is equal to zero, okay? For int j is equal to zero, j less than how many spaces? j less than five. I think we can start it from one, guys. j is equal to one, j is equal to one, j less than five minus i, I will say. Okay, you'll understand why I'm writing five minus i at a later point of time, j plus plus. I'll, I'll demonstrate anyhow, okay? So inside this for loop, we'll write a print statement. We should not be writing print ln guys. We should be writing normal print statement so that all the spaces will be printed in a single line. So we'll print a space. So how this uh, inner for loop will work? Let's see. So first of all, when i is equal to zero, when i is zero, when this i is zero, zero less than five will be true. Zero less than five will be true. This condition will be true and we'll go inside the for loop and uh, this iteration will start where int j is equal to one. Here, j is one one less than five minus i. One less than, what is five minus i guys? Five minus zero is five, one less than five. That means how many iterations this for loop will iterate guys? So for one, single space will be printed. What about two? Second space, three, third space, four, fourth space. But when it becomes five, this condition will become false guys. So only four spaces. That means this logic is perfectly right. When i is one, that is in the second row. I will become one in the second row guys. This condition will be true and here, again it will start from j is equal to one till five minus i means five minus one is four. How many, how many times this space will be printed in the second row? One, two, three, only three times. Okay, in the second row, three spaces will be printed. This is what we need, right? In the first row, four spaces. Second row, three spaces. Third row, two spaces. Like that, till zero. Fine. Now guys, uh, what we'll do next is, uh, this logic is fine. Spaces logic is fine. Now we'll create another for loop, which will implement printing the stars. The first row, only one star should be printed. Second row, two stars, third row, three stars, fourth row, four stars, and fifth row, five stars. So for that printing stars, for the stars, we are writing this for loop guys. For int k is equal to zero, k less than or equal to i, I will say. Okay, I'll explain the logic. Just a minute, k plus plus. 
So the number of the k will be equal to i in the first iteration. Okay, i is zero, guys. The first iteration i is zero. Zero less than five is true. So this for loop will come where uh, k is equal to zero. Zero less than or equal to zero less than or equal to i. I means zero only, right? So in the first iteration, how many stars will be printed, guys? System dot out dot. I should not be writing print and then I should be writing print. And here I need to be printing a star. Here we need to print a star, guys. So in the first iteration, only one star will be printed. Because when k becomes one, this condition will become false. Only when k is zero, till k is zero, only one star can be printed. But when i becomes one, one less than five is true. So here k will be zero and zero less than or equal to i. That is one. So in this case, how many how many stars will be printed in the second row? The second row when i is one, this condition k will be zero, zero less than or equal to one. True, one star will be printed, and k plus plus k will become one. One less than or equal to one is again true. Another star will be printed. Two stars in the second row, two stars got printed. Finally, when k becomes two, this condition will fail. Like that, every based on the based on the iteration, that number that many number of stars will be printed. In the first iteration, one star. Second iteration, two stars. Like that, we have written the logic case. Now let's remove all these comments. Uh, and one more thing we have to do before uh, running this uh, program, before executing this program, we have to do one more thing. That is, as you can see here, after printing the spaces and star in the single line, then in order to print the next set, that the spaces and uh, stars in the second row, we need to move to the new row, right? For that, after these two for loops, we have to write a print ln statement. System dot out dot print ln. This will take you to the new line. After printing the spaces and the stars or something, it will take you to the new line. That is new row. In the new row, again, this will be printed. After printing this, again, we need to be taken to the new row. Like that, for that purpose, we have to write this print ln statement, guys. So this is the logic, guys. We have to write for uh, printing this kind of triangle, okay, pattern. Mirror, mirror right triangle star pattern. If you have to get it, we have to write this kind of logic. Let's see whether we are getting the perfect output or not, proper output or not. You see, when you run this, you see, you got the proper output only. This is what is mirrored right triangle star pattern, guys. Okay, this is how this pattern will look like. So, hope guys you understood how to write a Java program to print mirrored right triangle star pattern. So, that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.